making a comeback. And we've been to Johnson & Johnson in Limerick because they've taken on some new apprentices. You don't have to get your hands dirty to be an apprentice. At the Vision Care contact lens plant in Limerick, they've hired four new apprentices. It's really about future-proofing the business. As the country grows towards full employment, we see um, this new apprenticeship as a pipeline for both technicians and for engineering. Over two years, apprentices at Johnson & Johnson learn the skills of production engineering. More importantly, they also learn how to problem solve and integrate constantly evolving technology into the production process. See the way it pitches for your different positions? Yeah. So you have a narrow pick position, okay. you have a wider place position. Okay. Because your parts coming out are a different pitch to what they need to be placed in the pallets. Definitely manufacturing was something I always wanted to get into. I found it very interesting. I worked in a manufacturing facility before I worked here as well and loved it, but um, everything seemed to be very short contracts. So when I took this up, it was, it was great. It definitely opens doors because we're gaining experience that probably people who are, you know, just going through the college route and then maybe not getting the same experience, the hands-on experience, the technical experience that we're getting. I mean, all of these people are giving their own knowledge to us as well and helping us go forward with that. So definitely it is a fantastic option. Oh, I'd recommend this apprenticeship, definitely. It's an amazing place to work, like amazing opportunity. And if you, you know when you stay here for longer, it's only going to get better. If you're good enough, you will get a job. If you, do, if you move up the levels in college, you know, if you have a level eight with an apprenticeship, everybody's going to love you. You have your practical side, you have your theory side. You're going, you're going to be well up in this business. What brought me closer to uh, apprenticeship was the fact that I still needed to support myself financially. And uh, that uh, possibility of going to a uh, university without any income on the side uh, wasn't really possible for me. What this apprenticeship will give is it'll give a broad range of skills between the on the job and the off the job. It'll give a broad range of technical skills, but also a mindset around problem solving. And that's what we need today in, in a very busy automated environment. My own sister is doing her Leaving Cert this year and she never heard of an apprenticeship until, until this. And, um, you know, I said to her, I said, look, the Leaving Cert isn't be all and end all. If you want to go and apply to college, go and apply for college. But if, you know, if for whatever reason, if you didn't get what you wanted or if you decided that this was something that you'd, an option that you'd choose maybe instead, I said, you know, it's great. You get to work, you get to um, upskill, you get to learn, you get to meet a great, great group of people. It's, it's a great option. Solis is the state agency in charge of the apprentice system. There are lots of apprenticeships available in the construction trades, as you'd expect, but there's a whole range of new apprenticeships coming on stream also. Paul O'Toole, as CEO of Solis, you're the man with the information. Now, I grew up knowing all about apprenticeships, but there be young people now, and this would be a whole new to them. Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, apprenticeships, thankfully, are experiencing something of a renaissance, and they're back in vogue, but they've always been there. It's one of the oldest forms of learning and the one of the most beneficial for an employer or a craft or an individual. And they're on the way back and it's fantastic. Also, when I was growing up, yeah. one of the attractions for young people about apprenticeships was that you got paid absolutely. while you were learning. Yeah. So the earn and learn model is absolutely fantastic. So if you're a young apprentice and you're doing one of the traditional craft apprenticeships, you'll start in your phase two, which is your learning part. You'll have somewhere between 200 and 250 euro. But in your fourth euro, in your fourth year, you're going to be somewhere between 530 and 680 euro. So as you get better and you learn more, you get paid more. And there are lots of different levels, aren't there? And there are now more unusual apprenticeships that we wouldn't have been used to. Absolutely. In Ireland, we're, we're more familiar with craft apprenticeships, the, the bricklayer, the, the plumber, the carpenter, the electrician. Absolutely essential. And you can see that from the environment where we are today. But there's a lot of new opportunities and recognition that other occupations actually lend themselves to an apprenticeship model. So we've seen insurance practitioner coming through, industrial electrical engineering, polymer processing technology, all very new, very different, and, and working and really finding traction with people who are looking how to develop their skills, find a job, and set themselves up for the future. Animation is something that uh, is a bit of a buzzword these days. Yeah. And you can do an apprenticeship in animation, is that right? You can indeed. There's a new one. It's not there yet, but it's coming down the line. So it's called a CGI animation expert. And that's level nine. That's a master's level. 
but Ireland has a fantastic record. Uh, Nora Toomey uh, for the breadwinner. She's the seventh nominee in an animation category from Ireland, and she was trained in the Ballyfermot Bally College of Further Education. So that's at PLC level, level six, and look at the success they've had. It's a very exciting time, isn't it, for apprenticeships? I, I, I think it's absolutely tremendous. In the depths of the reception, the recession, we had less than 1,200 apprentices registered. Last year, we had almost 4,900. That's a fourfold increase. And the ambition is that next year, next year and the year after, by 2020, we will have 9,000 new registrations and apprenticeships. So this is opening up possibilities for everybody. Uplifting ambitions there from the training body, Solace. Well, that's it from us for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed our programme about education, which is definitely lifelong, can be a lot of fun, and can happen in different ways to suit different people's expectations and interests. And long may it continue thus. Shindera Lashidlor, Yoag Mivanish, Agus Kadesh of Slam. On next Monday's Nationwide, we meet three innovative Irish people, all of whom have not only dreamed up ambitious business plans and designs, but have gone on to actually make their dreams become a reality. 